Hey everyone, John here, Sand Hill Shooter. Today I want to tell you a little bit about my two most comfortable holsters that I own. Um, one of which I don't wear a whole lot anymore. Not really any particular good reason why. I'll, I've got a couple small reasons why and I'll explain those as we go along. But they're actually nothing that, uh, that would ever make me recommend not purchasing this particular holster. Uh, the first one I'm going to tell you about and you can kind of see that it is well worn. This is the Nate Squared Professional Series holster. Um, it has the uh, the thick leather back. You can see how thick this is. Um, suede on the back. And the other holster that I'm going to show you, I'm wearing it right now. So bear with me while I remove it from my waistband. Because this is the one that gets the nod for... Uh, my favorite, my most comfortable holster, and this is the Cloak Tuck 4.0, or the Shapeshift 4.0 from Alien Gear. Now, give me just one moment to clear the carry pistol. Alright, so, we are clear. You can see empty magwell and empty chamber. So, we do have a clear pistol here. Don't worry, even if I point this at you, you're safe. It's a camera. Not going to shoot you, I promise. Okay, so when you take the Nate Square holster and the Glock 19, slip that right down in there. You can hear that. It actually has a nice little click to it. You can feel that it is securely in place. That's not coming out. In fact, there's a little bit of play. But I can't get that to come out. So uh, Nate Squared actually did a really great job uh, with their design on the retention on this holster. In order to remove this, I cannot just pull. Pulling it straight out does not do any good. Okay. In order to, uh, and the way that that works, it actually hooks right here in the front of the trigger guard, uh, like so many do. But there's no flex here. The flex actually comes from the back. So to remove the, the pistol, you just take this and, and rotate it down, tilt that a little bit, and then the trigger guard clears this little latch right there, slides right out. But it won't pull out doing that until I, until I tilt it down. It's actually a lot easier when this isn't up against your body. Okay. Um, one thing that I have uh, noticed with this is in order to get that to disengage, um, the natural movement to grip this pistol is to take your thumb and come over top of the front sight uh, because that's just how, you know, how it sits there. We've got the full coverage back here. It's not a combat cut holster. Um, I would recommend not doing that because that actually puts a little extra torque on your wrist that you don't need. So actually just force your thumb down in there, get a combat grip, twist it, slides right out it's a great holster design okay the fact that I have to fight just a little bit more to get that combat grip and uh, and twist my arm really the wrong way um, it just it feels counterintuitive to me or, or or unnatural to me to twist my the, the heel of my hand in and my thumb outward in order to in order to, to draw the pistol um, it feels to me like that's the weakest way to, to do that. And so it goes against everything that, that my arm is telling me or that my hand and my wrist are telling me. Um, now, is that a problem? Not really. It can be overcome. This is a great holster, okay? My biggest beef, to be honest, again, trivial little thing. See how the, uh, the muzzle and the front sight stick out from below the little... Uh, I don't know what brand of plastic this is. Uh, it is a hard plastic, you can see translucent shell riveted onto the leather. But when the muzzle and the front sight are unprotected, I just don't like that. And I know a lot of great holsters are designed that way. That's fine. That's great. I'm okay with it if you're okay with it. It's just not for me. Okay? So that is the, the those are the two, the biggest two reasons why I stopped carrying this. Okay? Um, it's still a great holster, and I'm not getting rid of it, just because it, it is a great holster, in fact. Just for nostalgia, when I uh, 
When I'm done shooting this, I'll probably put this one on and wear it the rest of the day because it is edge bound. This does not cause any kind of irritation. It doesn't it doesn't rub any part of of your leg or your side or or wherever you're wearing this. Um, it's great. Okay, you can take uh, the supplied Allen wrench that comes with it, loosen that screw, and adjust the cant according to how the clip is. It's got a nice little. It's easy to remove. Take on, put on, and take off one-handed, and it's tuckable. So you can wear this with your shirt tucked in. That's the everything about this holster is amazing, other than a couple nitpicky little things. Those probably aren't a big deal to 999 out of 1,000 concealed carriers. So I highly recommend this as a holster. Even though it's not the one that I wear, I do highly recommend it. Now, I've had this one for almost two years now. I believe October will be uh, two years that I've had this holster. And it is shaped to fit my body. But other than that, there's no discernible wear on this holster. This thing is awesome. You've got uh, tuckable clips, first of all. Again, that's important because I am not saying that I carry at work, but if I did, nobody'd know because I could tuck my shirt in around it and it would be invisible. Um, so I like that part. I'm not gonna get into how easy it is to change the shells. It's super easy. Remove this little uh, retainer, slide this piece off, pop the shell off, pop the other shell on, put your retainer clip back on, and away you go. Um, I can actually swap this out to uh, the Shield shell, or the PPQ shell, or the Glock shell. Those are the three that we have. Um, just within about a minute's time, and I can I can have this configured for a different pistol. Um, if I want to adjust the ride height, or the angle of the cant, I can do that by moving the clips. The uh, Alien Gear did a great job with this series, the 4.0 series because they uh, they made these to where they're not screwed in so you don't have to worry about screws backing out you don't have to worry about getting the uh, the blue Loctite in a red container how confusing is that okay get the red one because that's the blue Loctite and that's the one you need because it's not permanent okay so that's not a thing anymore if you want to move this uh, clip you just rotate it 180 degrees pop it out of there line it up with a different hole and away you go okay let's put that back to where it was gives me the best cant forward cant available uh, for the Glock I like that a little bit more same thing on this side you can adjust your ride height up down cant whichever direction you like um, also edge bound so you don't have any uh, rough edges digging into anywhere that you don't want them to and then nice and thick padded neoprene ventilated on the back this actually uh, breathes very very well for what it is um, I'm surprised every day that uh, um, I'm not building up a bunch of sweat and stuff underneath the holster because it's I think the heat index is over a hundred degrees today here in Nebraska it is hot out there I had to go run an errand I had to load a, a TV that quit working into the back seat of the Tahoe it took me five minutes I almost turned into soap see that's what fat does when it gets super super hot and it boils it turns into soap so uh, it was a danger for me. This holster did not come off of me dripping with sweat. It stayed uh, breathable. It's nice and soft and flexible, yet it's got spring steel in here to retain its shape. I really like that. Uh, but you can see there's only one point of contact with the backer, so this will flex with you. I literally can forget that I have this thing on. Um, you'd be surprised how many times that I uh, get out of the vehicle and I start walking across a parking lot and I realize I'm heading into a place that's a gun-free zone. I have to legally be disarmed. So, because I forgot that this was on because it was not uncomfortable in the slightest, I've got to turn around, go back, lock up my pistol, and uh, then I can go into the bank, the hospital, wherever I'm headed that I cannot, uh, can't bring my friend, or, excuse me, can't bring my friend with me. Um, so, uh, this is my favorite this is by far and away the most comfortable holster that I have ever worn. And uh, 
the, the thing that I like about it is for $33, I can swap this shell out, get a different shell if I get a different gun, um, or add a gun to the collection. I don't want to trade this in. They don't do trades on these, but uh, for 33 bucks, you can get another one sent out. Uh, still run the same backer. There's no need to replace this yet. Uh, like I said, it's been going almost two years, and it's not showing any signs of wearing out. If it ever does... That's why Alien Gear has their forever warranty on these. So if it ever does wear out, they're going to replace the part or parts uh, that they need to and get me back going again. Um, I've dealt with Alien Gear customer service. They're amazing. They have helped me out, even with a couple mistakes that I made in ordering that were my fault, not theirs. They, they helped me out. They made things right. They got me going. And uh, I can't sing their praises enough. Uh, and they're not even sponsoring me. Although Alien Gear, if you're seeing this, uh, I would love to be a sponsor uh, or have you be a sponsor and I would uh, I would talk all your stuff up and test it for you. Um, if you keep making everything else the way that you make these 4.0 holsters, the, the Cloak Tuck 3.0 that I've got, I've got a lot of Alien Gear. I've got the uh, the Cloak, uh, Cloak Mod, which is the belt holster, the outside the waist. Um, I bought the Shape Shift starter pack so I've got the belt slide I've got the paddle holster uh, I've got the vehicle mount for the shape shift shells I've got a lot of stuff from them I've paid for it all myself they are not paying me to tell you how great this is I just know that there's probably going to be some other big dude out there that has been uh, trying these uh, cheaper kydex holsters or uh, maybe the flimsy stuff that you get from Walmart or the uh, the cheap holsters you know that are on the shelves at some of the big box stores and you're just not able to feel like your gun is secure, yet still be comfortable at the same time. Um, you might have that proverbial drawer full or box full of holsters, and uh, I can't speak for those of you who aren't big fellas. Uh, I would expect this is going to be more of the same, but uh, for those of us who are a little fluffy up top, um, the, uh, the tactical dad bod or the tactical muffin top type body style, that's what I have. This thing is nice. I love mine. So the Alien Gear 4.0 inside the waistband holster, the Nate Squared, anything from Nate Squared is awesome. I've seen that they've actually got uh, more holsters now. Uh, I just recently visited the website and uh, they've got some now that have the combat cut on them. I would love to give those a try. So I may be uh, looking into that here in the future. If that happens, I will let you guys know. But uh, these are my two favorite, my most comfortable holsters that I own. Uh, you can't go wrong with either one. Go check them out. Nate Squared or Alien Gear, they're both going to take care of you. Um, great people to work with. Great holster companies. Made in the USA, both of them. Go check them out. Thanks for watching. God bless you.